everyone here. I'm KJ. Welcome to KJ Paints. I'm going to do a Halloween pour today. So I've got some very fun Halloween colors. My colors are Winsor & Newton Cadmium Orange Hue. I've got these Simply Acrylics, which I just picked up at Walmart. Brilliant Red and Medium Yellow. I've got the DecoArt Dazzling Metallics and the DecoArt Extreme Sheen. Uh, Splendid Gold and Pink Tourmaline. So very fun colors. Um, my paints are mixed about one part to two part paint to flow troll and then um, just a little bit of water to adjust the consistency. You can see here, makes a bit of a mound. You can see right here, a um, couple of mounds and then before it disappears. So it's not super, super thick, but, and then um, my metallics are mixed just a little bit uh, more paint to flow troll. So about one to one and no water, just because the metallics tend to be thinner as it is. And then the, de the deco art is more similar to a craft paint than an art paint so it's thinner on top of being a metallic so so yeah just one to one about uh, paint to flow troll so I've got this 8 by 20 canvas I've got on my little push pins and then I've got these three little mason jars and I've put little vinyl faces on them and then just some electrical tape to cover the top so I can still put the lids on I'm gonna pour over them and then peel the vinyl off once they're dry and then put a little candle or something inside um, and I also have the lids which I thought I would either paint or I'm not sure what I may make a little stem for them so it looks like a little stem we'll see how that goes but I got this but I got this little stand from the dollar store and I'm thinking I will just put my guys on here and then for each one I'll pour it and then move it over and then move it over so that it covers my canvas I think that will work and so with these guys, all I've done is, like I said, I applied vinyl um, to make the little faces and I used my little, my silhouette um, Cameo 4 to cut them out, but you could definitely do them with just tape or with, um, uh, what's the call, it's called the stick on cupboard liner paper, um, or vinyl, it's more like vinyl than paper, but it sticks on its adhesive. And then, um, and then just cut them out with scissors, but I am lucky to have my little um, machine so I am definitely using it where I can so I'm gonna make a couple of cups to do a dirty pour on, on each of these and then uh, I will get painting okay so here we go so I'm gonna just like I said I'm gonna start with one of them so I'll spread these out a little bit more I'm just gonna move this guy as much over here as possible I guess actually I can't spread them out too much because I don't want hmm maybe I should move them more to yeah okay so what I'm gonna actually do is I'm going to pour these two so this one and then this one I'll move over just and move up a little bit and then I'll turn it around so all the paint sort of blends on this end and then I can kind of move like tilt it this way to get the paint to spread out more so I think that's what I'll do so start with this one I don't want to be too far off the edge though all right so what I mean by how you pour the paint paint is if you do this, you'll end up with a lot of thin striations of color, whereas if you do this, you'll get more bands. that's pretty. I'm so glad I added the paint. I was, I was a little bit iffy on whether I wanted to do that or not. Let's that blend down a little bit. Put that next there. Well, there's not much paint on the canvas. This part might forget that, I think. But it will continue to run down, so. And if the canvas doesn't turn out well, that's okay too. Gently 
so this is this side of each cup that's getting less coverage. So maybe put in some others, I think. I'm just going to let those sit for a few minutes until they finish draining out and then, uh, and then I'll tilt the candle. I'll tilt just slightly so that it doesn't all run off that one edge. Interesting, the yellow in here is mixing with maybe with pink to make it almost dirty color. All right, I think I'm gonna call that day. And look how easy that was to move. That's so awesome. I love that little tray. Okay, this is gonna get quite quite um mixed like as far as what's the word I'm looking for? It's gonna be tilted a lot because there's not a whole ton of paint on here, um, which is gonna make for a very different design, I guess you could just say, than your typical uh, flip cup or dirty pour. And that's okay, because I think I'm just gonna use it as a background for a, like a, another Halloween decoration, like a, a sign or something saying like, Happy Halloween or trick or treat or something like that. I think that'll be cute. So I'm gonna lose most of this paint, but that's okay. It was a whammy. Okay, I'm trying, I try to remember not to tilt in a way that makes it disappear off of the camera. See it while I tilt in this direction. Come on, let's go. Yeah, there's just not quite enough paint on here. Again, I'm not super worried about this because it's just a paint catcher. And if it doesn't turn out, that's okay. Always paint over it. paint on my bit of something for running easy. I'm just trying really hard not to make it disappear from view. But it's needing a lot of tilting. Don't be afraid to try different things. In this case, I'm scraping paint off of the table to touch up. But again, this is just a catcher. Worried about what it looks like. All right, 
and actually I don't mind it at all. I like the little bits of pink. It kind of moves more toward pink in this direction and lots of different orange, red, and yellow. And then the gold doesn't show up as well, but it will give the whole thing a bit of a shimmer. So that's nice. I will bring you back when everything is dry. Hi there, I am back and my painting has dried and the, um, the jars have as well. I'm just, I've applied a vinyl um, cutout of uh, Happy Halloween and some pumpkins that I just made in Inkscape and then cut out using my Silhouette um, Cameo as well. And then, uh, so I'm just gonna use this Artist Loft Metallic Black paint in the letters and the pumpkins and then once it's dry I'll come back and peel all the vinyl off of both items and we'll see how it all turns out. While this dries, I'm just going to eyeball it for a second here. Okay. As I was saying, while this dries, I'm just going to peel the labels off of this and then with the vinyl. Okay, I'm just going to do some finishing touches and then uh, I will bring you back. Okay, here they are dry. As you can see, I painted the lid with sort of a dark green and I've got little LED candles inside. You could use definitely little tea lights, but I wouldn't leave the lids on for if you were going to. The nice thing about the LEDs is that I can put the lids on, so let's leave that way. And then just the sign, and I love how the paint came out um, and this little spot of the like yellowy gold can be really great and the sign pack came out so they came out pretty cute and I'm just gonna turn off the light so that we can see the pumpkin so I think they turned out pretty cute and I think they look really cute on like a bookshelf or a mantle just uh spookying up the place so uh, anyways thanks very much for watching i hope you enjoyed that um and i will see you next time